Thank you, Angela, very much. The kingdom of Thailand is famous for its beautiful flowers, and Miss Universe pageant is famous for beautiful women. It's a perfect combination for our first event of the semifinals, the swimsuit competition. Now, as our contestants model swimsuits from Catalina and shoes from Federico Leone, we've asked each young woman to tell us a little bit more about herself, and we'll begin with Miss Australia. I just love to spend time at home with my family and there's about 10 little children that live in my street and they come down every weekend and ask me if I'd like to come out and play. So I pile all the kids in my little VW and we go off down to the beach for a rollerblade and it's just so much fun and that's how I keep my sanity. Miss Sweden. I probably describe myself as a very independent woman with strong will. I follow my own instincts, and most of all, I think I stand on my both feet on the ground. Miss India. Oh, health and fitness is very important to me because my father has been an athlete and he raised me to be an athlete. And so for the last five years I've been working out regularly. And I'm not on a strict diet, but I do keep watch on what I eat. Miss Netherlands. The biggest change in the last couple of years is that I have become more conscious and grateful of the things that I have. And I think I have a good life and I appreciate that very much. Miss New Zealand. I'd have to describe New Zealanders as a very independent people. We get involved in a lot of the world's activities. For example, at the moment we're up there with the America's Cup Challenge, doing very well. And we're a big contributor to the Greenpeace organization. We are very caring people. Miss USA. When I look back over my life, I think the things that will really stand out most to me are the relationships that I have with people. Because it's one thing that I've learned, it's not how many zeros are on the end of your paycheck or how many things you can acquire, but just the relationships that you have with people. And I think when it's all said and done, that's all that really matters. Miss Columbia. I think I'm a combination of both my parents because I think like my father, I try to analyze things like him, but I also try to put um, the heart into stuff like my mother. Miss Namibia. I definitely want a family want to have my own clinic, holistic clinic where I can practice massage as well as maybe give people a little bit more insight into healthy living and healthy mind with a healthy body. Miss Venezuela. I've been a Girl Scout since I was six years old. So I had the opportunity to go to camps and have close contact with nature. I love nature. And I understand the importance of protecting our Earth. Miss Belgium. Sometimes I just have to do something different. Like the time I did bungee jumping from a bridge in Austria. Once I went parasailing in Cancun. I don't know why I did it, but I just wanted to, and I'm very glad I did it. Thank you, ladies. That completes the Catalina Swimsuit Competition for Miss Universe 1992. We're back live in Bangkok, where I have the pleasure of talking with 10 beautiful ladies, and as I do, you and our judges, 
we'll get to know them a little bit better. Now remember, these interviews are spontaneous, they are unrehearsed. The contestants are being judged on poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of their responses. And we'll begin with Miss Australia, Georgina Dennehy, who's 20 years of age. She's a professional model who enjoys rollerblading, swimming, and cycling. Uh, this isn't your first trip to Thailand. Were you here on work before or pleasure? Yes, it's actually my third trip. I came about three years ago to do some work with an Australian fashion catalogue. And then I came back last year for a holiday and I ended up modelling again. You obviously like the culture here. What, what charms you about Thailand? It's definitely the people, the Thai people, they're always smiling, always very happy. And also their natures, um, they're very artistic people too. It's very lovely to see. Are you heavy into Thai food? I love spicy food, yes. <laughs> you, don't, you don't look like the type of person that likes spicy food. Did you learn any of the language? I learned a little bit. Um... Could you give me a sample? <laughs> Our Thai friends will probably laugh at both of us, but uh, try. I'll try, okay. Kok Kum Ma Ka Thailand. And what does that mean? Ah, they understood. <laughs> what did you say? I just said thank you very much, Thailand. Thank you so much, Miss Australia. If you'd step over here for the judges, please. This is Miss Australia. Next is Miss Sweden, Monica Broda. She is a 19-year-old amateur photographer from Stockholm who enjoys the outdoors, planning a trip around the world. That sounds kind of exciting. How long will you be gone? I will be gone about one year, and I want to uh, start in Australia. Will you travel alone? No, with a very good friend. Where will you go eventually? Uh, I plan to go uh, first to Australia, then uh, I think I finished my trip to uh, USA. Sounds like a long time. Obviously, you like to travel. Why? Uh, I think... Um, it's experience for me, and I see very new uh, things in the world, and I, I think uh, it's very important for every person, because you have to see the poor, you have to see the rich, you have to see everything, because it's on, not only you in this world. So I think it's a good idea to go out and travel. Very good learning experience. Will you come back and visit Thailand? Of course. Thank you so very much. It's nice to have you with us. Miss Sweden, if you'd step over here for the judges. This is Miss India, Madhu Sapri, who's 20 years of age, a model, recent college graduate, junior national gold medalist in track and field. You're a very serious athlete. Who's your coach? My father. Is he difficult? Not really. He's been very, at least like a friend. I fight with him, but we are back together again. But when he has to be strict, he's very strict. Well, you say you fight with him. What do you fight about with your father, coach? <laughs> Most of the time, many times I go late night out for parties and in the morning I can't get up for jogging so he'll come and put water on me or, you know, pinch me or something so that time we fight. Is he here in the audience? Yes, he's sitting right there. Uh, I don't know if we can get a camera to him but he's saying, oh, she throws water, all right. Um, an alarm clock might have been easier. You're obviously well trained. Uh, what sort of a person are you now with all of this heavy duty training? Um, I can say that I have learned a lot after coming here and I know how to take care physically, how to be fit, but after coming here I know how to behave and how much I have to improve upon more. So I think I am not perfect, but a little bit okay. I think you're a lot a little bit okay. Thank you. Please, if you will, step over here. This is Miss India. Now let's say hello to Miss Netherlands. This is Vivian Janssen, who's 19 years of age. She's a European studies student, speaks four languages, luckily for me, one of which is English. What are uh, European studies? It means that if you finish this school, you're a European specialist, because uh, there are no uh, European specialists yet, and it's coming nearer and nearer. So if you are a European specialist, you can probably get a very good job. What will you do when you uh, finish your studies? I would like to work in France, in Paris, because it's a really romantic city. And I like the people a lot. I like, like the French culture. So I would like to begin an advertisement agency. <laughs> right, now that's the serious side about you. Let me find out a bit uh, about your hobbies. Uh, you told me you're going to learn to ride motorcycles? <laughs> yes. It's Why? Not, it's not very ladylike. Huh? <laughs> yes, I uh, am busy with my uh, driving license. And when Wait a minute, for automobiles? Yeah. Do you know how to drive a car? Yes, I do. But in Holland you need uh, also a, li a license to drive a motorcycle. 
May I suggest learn the car first? I, I have already learned <laughs> to drive the car. Don't worry. <laughs> Much good luck. Let me know when you're on the road. Uh, Miss Netherlands, if you will step over here, please.